Hello citizens of Netherlands and welcome to the frontiers. Oh, how long it's been since I've said this sentence. Welcome to the frontiers. We're playing Paradox Mini Mega Dutch Campaign as the Kingdom of Netherlands. And uh, apparently last time I was recording I forgot to save our actual game. So we're playing from the auto save. Well, it's not that bad. We are currently at war with Denmark, Ostlandet, Teutonic Order and Italy. Which looks like a pretty good war. Apparently we're winning quite quite hard. Uh, all right. So I think what we want is we want Rome because we have a mission mm, to restore the Holy See. I don't like these heretic rebels. What can we do? We have a we have an idle stack of eleven units. Let's send it to deal with the problem. Uh, is it really okay? You go like this. Yeah. All right, let's get to it. Santium isn't really doing anything yet. Okay, cool. Just gonna keep an eye uh, out for any Italian armies out there. Not sure if it if it even has an army at this point. They might. Breton revolt. Yeah, we'll deal with them too. That's okay. Aquitaine has no relationships. This is an, uh, an ideal moment for us to strike. Hmm. Well, we have to deal with Italy first. Oh, 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 oops. Hello there. Why, hello there, Italy. Hmm. We have a leader in this army. Get everyone we can to the battle in Parma because this is gonna be a major, major battle. Ah, uh, we're fine. Yeah, we've squished the heretics. Let's go squish the Britain nationalists. 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 Ah, perfect. We have won the battle of Parma. Get back to your get back to your posts. There we go. <clears throat> Just gonna stick around for a little bit, for a little tad bit. All right, the Lombardia has fallen. Good. Let's combine everybody. Combine everybody. We'll send this army over to Verona so it can reinforce if needed. He's trying to build a military troop. A military army. A military. God damn, I'm stupid. We've lost a cardinal. Mm, that is not what I like to see. Let's secure our cardinals. All right. Uh, what? The Battle of Finister. Oh, we lost the battle against the Breton Nationalists. That's that's not cool. Eh. That is really, really not cool. We have only 4,000 men power left, which is not amazing at all. Nope. Nope, it isn't. Italy, why do you have so much men power? We've been kicking you around for quite some time already. Um, no, Italy actually has no men power, so it's kind of the last of them. Apparently the Dutch Lithuania decided to focus on the Teutons first. And the Titans. We won the Siege of Cremona, amazing. So he's going to arrive in Verona. We should start moving right like right now. Boop and go, boop and go, boop and go. Alright. We didn't get any for defensive modifiers. Well, we got a crossing, that's fine. That's something. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna win this, definitely. That's a pretty decisive war right here. Aquitaine entered the military alliance with Italy. It doesn't matter, Aqu Aquitaine.
It really, really doesn't matter, Aquitaine. <coughs> you can enter any alliances you want. It's not gonna change the, the fact that we're going to kick your ass. How could you lose to these rebels, you idiot? Ah, get out of my sight. Combine everybody. Yep. Where is my fleet? What's my fleet doing? My fleet is idling. Send it to the coast of Italy. We won, won the Siege of Piemont. And we can tech up in a second. Military technology, amazing. We are just rushing through the technology tree like a wind. Oh, please don't tell me you're gonna lose again. Please, please, please. Come come on, guys. Come, come on, you <sighs> amateurs. Amateurs. Well, they managed to scr scratch the paint a little bit. We are one siege of Trent. That's good. Go to Friuli. Mm hmm. Never mind. Here comes the engagement. As usual, we're just gonna poop and go. Oh, never mind. I did it too early. Still going, still going. Okay, cool. So, oh, oops, that's not what I was going to do. That's what I was gonna do. God damn it! There you go. I swear I know how to play this game, guys. Here's the battle. Pretty sure we can easily win that. Get over there in armor. All right. <laughs> not even. Not everyone arrived. We just like we just stomped them. Okay. There we go. Almost won all those sieges. Good, good. Cunea has fallen. Let's go to Rome. Oh, fuck it. We'll just siege Rome. <coughs> siege their war goal, so to speak. Let the Aragonese engineers stay home. Alright, so English con are conquering this. Dutch are conquering this. Well, not Dutch. Yeah, that, they are Dutch. Let's face it. Lithuania is Dutch these days. Yep. Dutch is the primary culture. And mostly only culture here. Smash this army real quick. Good, good. Somebody became an active cardinal and Byzantium got one. I think I'm gonna take this one <coughs> away from you. Ah, oh, damn it, that sucks. Brittany gained a core. Brittany gained an actual core and something. That really, really sucks. But guess what? Asturias and uh, Brescia are coming to help. 
Let's go beat the crap out of those nationalists. You want the siege of Mantua? Uh, proceed forward to Modena. Oh, and also don't let these guys come and siege. We have won the siege of Liguria. That's amazing, which means we'll we're gonna smack their fleet. We gained trade dispute against Ibaditz. Ibaditz. We won the Battle of Finisterre. Good job. Trading in cloth. Nice, nice. This battle is going solid. We are winning. And there's his army again. He's trying to fight us. He will arrive. Oh, damn it! God! Ah, Jesus Christ. Fuck you, England. He just pieced him out. Oh, well. <sighs> Could be worse. It only means that we fought this war for nothing, which sucks. Repair the fleet, please. Okay. Well, at least we're in good relations with England, right? Good relations with them. For uh, one reason, I don't actually want to restore the Holy See right now, and that reason is that we can excommunicate pretty much everyone because the opinion with the Holy See doesn't matter because the Holy See doesn't exist on the map anywhere. So no one can really improve opinion with the Pope right now. Which means excommunicate everybody. Oh no, some of my armies get stuck. That really sucks. That really, really sucks. We can't get them out. I forgot about this shit. Ah. We would have to go to war with Bavaria someday. Dutch Kiev, are you my dynasty? Yes, you are. You will not accept an alliance, probably. Yeah. <coughs> oh well. Damn it! Just money. That that's that's dumb. I have noticed this cardinal. Don't you worry. Oh, and also I forgot to set up my timer for this. Um, hang on. Alright, well I think we'll just go for with 10 minutes. It, at least it felt like 10 minutes. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, we need a lot of men to reinforce this shit. That really sucks. Let's take a look if we can build some buildings or something. Army buildings, armories. We really don't have an armory here. Let's build it. <coughs> yeah, we pretty much are capped out on our manpower buildings. We need to progress further down the tech tree. Which will not happen anytime soon. Denmark will cede Aberdeen and Highlands and end the vassalization of us landed. Yeah, that's that's cool, I guess. Ostland became an independent nation. Uh, Byzantium got their cardinal back. I have something to say about that. Bavaria is a douchebag and we need to show them who's the boss. Uh, Graubünden. But nobody will join our war right now, which sucks. Well, it kind of makes sense, though. 
Everyone's pretty, pretty, pretty terrible right now. We're in a bad shape. <coughs> That's fine, though. We can stick around and reinforce. Let's go to speed 5 for a little bit. Finally took Phineas Stere back. Get back to, to poor 2. Dum, boom, boom, boom. How long till this goes away? 1496. Ah, it's a long time. Can I declare the war on Vitebsk? Ah, there we go. Okay. This means involvement of Etil, which is not really a major competitor. Knights of Santiago declared war in Portugal. They said excommunicated ruler of their CB. Alright, so the knights decided to take on the Portuguese. Hmm? We gain a free cardinal. Amazing. Amazing. Why is this sorted out by age? It was sorted out by age like this instead of doing like this. Hmm. Really weird. <coughs> We can't support any rebels here. Italy, it's mine. Comprende? Oh. Pretender. The disputed. Oh my god, we had a weak claim? That really sucks. A revolt in Vizcaya. Eh, we'll send somebody to take care of it. It's pretty... it's a really really small revolt. Why are you with this little army? No leader. We'll assign you and deal with this guy and rebels. Damn it, Brescia! Do you want to go with this? Yeah, we want to go with this. War cabinet it is. Reduce all the war exhaustion. And yeah, after that, after you after you're done, get back to Languedoc. What do you call the diplomat? So yeah, now that um, we have a truce with Italy. Yes, we have a truce with Italy now. Now that we can attack Aquitaine without any problems for ourselves. <coughs> we'll go with the ex excommunicated ruler because this is much better than just simple conquest. Mm, we will cite... We will want to take... Eh, let's go for Bourbon. We could call Byzantium in there. That's fun. We will declare the war. We will invade pretty much everywhere. Where's our other leader? He probably is somewhere over here. Yep. Luther Clara. Alright, we get to Perigur. Mm -hmm. We'll do it like this. Obviously Italy did not join because it just can't join. It is impossible for it to join. We will destroy the Aquitanian army. And uh, detach siege and leave. Detach, leave. Detach, leave. Detach, leave. Yep, that's pretty much it. Sit down and relax. We have lost the excommunicated ruler CB. 
Gain 25 free ducats for stuff, that's cool. We have gained... we have lost a cardinal. Let's take him back. One of these bastards need to change their opinion about me. I'm stuck in Brescia here. We can annex him after, as soon as the war ends. Our royal marriage with England has ended. Please don't tell me that his dynasty changed. No, it, it didn't. Cool, 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 cool. Let's do this. They currently have no ruler to excommunicate. This guy is already excommunicated. We will excommunicate the Queen of Portugal. Nice. And apparently some of those sieges actually cannot proceed. Hmm. Let's see how this number changes monthly. Yeah, sooner or later they will they will be able to God damn it, stop taking my cardinals. And yeah, I have called the crusade against Suomi, but we cannot attack them. I thought we could at we could attack them when because they were at war with the perm. The papal state does not exist right now, and I now does it. Yeah, it does not exist right now as an entity. So, she's a special woman, but still just a woman. It's not really gonna affect anything. Can you claim on Piemont? Yeah. Byzantium managed to sneak this cardinal again. Hmm. We have won the Siege of Avernia. Let's help out with the sieges that actually cannot proceed. Yeah, I know I can invest. What's wrong with these guys? Reinforce, goddammit. Can I, like, set a priority to reinforce? That would be cool. Also, this is a level 3 fortress, which is sucky. We want the Siege of Armagnac. Proceed to help. Ah. Alright, get back in. Apparently we need help. Ah, nice. All glory to us. And yeah, this really sucks. I don't know what to do with these guys over here. Hmm. Something must happen in order for us to do anything there. Let's get out, go over there and help out. We lost a cardinal. Get all of them back. Actually, Thuvini is over here, lol. Pull out. Okay. So we'll force them to give one province back to Asturias. We will also for take these three provinces and release Castile from them. Asturias had a claim on this. So we will grant it to them. They also had a claim on Rojue, so we will grant Rojue and Toulouse to Asturias. And then I think they will be small enough to actually vassalize. Oh, and we could also grant them Avernia. We'll see.
We'll see. I think it will depend on the war score. Pull out these guys out. Pretty easy to keep control of the Curia, I found it. I find it. As I find it. Oh, apparently we're out of time. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment, rate and possibly subscribe to my channel for movies like this. I will see you again next time. Have a good day.